It's time now for Better Money. Joel Johnson is here, and he's a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Today, he's answering some questions from our viewer, viewers rather, about Social Security. As people get closer, they have lots of questions about it. Lots of questions. Everybody kind of knows, well, there's a certain time I'm supposed to take Social Security, so a ton of questions we get, not only on that, but on other issues around Social Security. All right, so here we go. Patricia asked, my husband is 69 and self-employed. If he starts collecting Social Security and continues working, will the Social Security be added to our income and be taxed. So this depends on your income. The real question without some of the details is, hey, is my Social Security taxable? Whether somebody's working or not, is my, are my Social Security payments taxable? And if your income is over a certain level, counting part of your Social Security, it is taxed. Some people don't pay tax on any of their Social Security. For some people, 50% of their Social Security gets added to their income for taxation. And for some people, 85% of their Social Security is taxed. That doesn't mean they pay 85% in taxes. That means 85% of their Social Security check is added to their income for the purpose of income tax. So and that all depends on how much you make. It all depends on the total income, which is why it's important in retirement for people to plan their income, because we can have the same amount of cash flow coming into the house, but none of it's taxable. So it's very, very important that somebody plans their income so they reduce taxes when they're younger. When they're older, like my mom and dad, 83 and 85, they can't do as much as they used to, so they don't mind paying a little bit more tax now. They wanted a lot of tax-free income when they were first in retirement, and so we want to manipulate that so you pay as little tax as possible on your Social Security. Okay, number two, Eileen wants to know, what is the best process to figure out the optimal age to start collecting Social Security? So this is a great question because we can go to the grocery store today and there's 12 magazines that give financial advice and almost all of them say, wait till age 70 to take Social Security. That's not the right advice for everyone. We have to look at Social Security as an asset in our whole picture, not just as an isolated decision. So if Social Security is the only retirement income you have, then you should probably wait as long as possible. But if you have other money, retirement funds and other savings, you should look at Social Security as another account and what's the best way to take income from all those accounts? What's the best combination and sequence to take money from all those accounts instead of looking at Social Security as a separate decision? So in regards to this question, we don't know what the best time to take Social Security is without knowing the entire picture of that person. Okay, but people can call you and that's how you can get the answer. You have to look at your individual situation. Absolutely, we have a real easy analysis tool that we can take people's situation, run it through, it'll tell you exactly when you should take Social Security. So uh, in our final question here, Kathleen asked, if I move to a new state and work at a lower income, will this affect my Social Security when I retire? How is Social Security calculated? So the new state has very little effect on Social Security. Some states might tax Social Security a tiny bit, but it's only 3 or 6%. What really has the effect is what we talked about earlier. It's the income level that the person has. Okay, and we're just scratching the surface here, but the what, when, who, how of your Social Security decisions is an offer. It's a pamphlet that Joel has, and everyone can have this for free. If you, mu if you want it, all you have to do is go to the website for more information go to bettermoneytv.com and you'll send this out to people for free yeah and the great thing about this booklet is there are all kinds of other resources that can be accessed so people can get as deep as they want to or they can just get a big picture of their social security situation all righty thank you so much joel thanks kara that's better money